welcome friends in this video we are going to discuss the problem of csi in it, december 2019 problem of ordinary differential equation example for the following system of ordinary differential equation dx by dt equal to x into 3 minus 2x minus 2y dy by dt equal to y into 2 minus 2x minus y the critical point 0 2 we have again four option a stable spiral second option an unstable spiral third option a stable node and fourth option unstable node now it is a, one of the most important example for the ordinary differential equation it is a problem about the characteristic of the critical points for the ordinary differential equation so first we recall the characteristics of critical point of the differential equation x this is equal to ax which is a linear differential equations where a is a matrix now the characteristic point of critical point is depend on the eigenvalues of matrix a if both the eigenvalues of matrix a are positive real and distinct then it is a unstable node if both the eigenvalues are negative real and distinct then it is a stable node if both the eigenvalues are of opposite sign then the point will be shadow point if the eigenvalues of a are complex conjugate and the real part are positive then it is a unstable spiral point if real part is negative then it is a stable spiral point and if real part is zero then it is called the center so it is about the x dot is equal to ax which is a linear system but in our example we have given non-linear system so first we try to convert it into the linear system and for that x is equal to f of xy and y dash is equal to g of xy so first we linearize both these equation at the critical point 0 to which is given in the example so f of xy equal to 3x minus 2x square minus 2xy we try to approximate this function to the linear function at point 0 2 and for that we will use the first two terms that means up to the first derivative of the Taylor series so f of xy equal to f of 0 2 plus x into partial derivative of f with respect to x at 0 2 y minus 2 partial derivative of f with respect to y at 0 2 now f of 0 2 if we evaluate f at 0 2 we will have the value of function 0 now partial derivative of f with respect to x is 3 minus 4x minus 2y evaluate at 0 2 then partial derivative of f with respect to y so it is 0 0 minus 2x evaluate at 0 0 now if you put 0 2 then 3 minus 0 minus 4 which is minus 1 so minus x and here if you put x is equal to 0 then this term will be 0 so f of x y equal to minus x is a linear approximation of f of x y now similarly we are approximating g x y with the linear form at 0 to use the taylor series up to the first derivative then g 0 to if you put x is equal to 0 and y equal to 2 then we will get 4 minus 0 minus 4 so it will be 0 partial derivative of g with respect to x is 0 minus 2y 0 and the partial derivative of g with respect to y is 2 minus 2x minus 2y and evaluate at 0 2 after the evaluation we are able to get gxy with the linear approximation minus 4x minus 2y plus 4 therefore this differential equation convert into the linear form at the critical point 0 2 which is x dash is equal to minus x and y dash is equal to minus 4x minus 2y plus 4 so we can write down into the matrix form then we have x dash is equal to ax plus b where a is equal to matrix minus 1 0 minus 4 minus 2 again values of a can be found using the characteristic equation determined a minus lambda equal to 0 so we have 
minus 1 minus lambda minus 2 minus lambda equal to 0. So lambda has two value minus 1 minus 2. Now as we know the characteristic of this critical point is depend on the eigenvalues of A and here the eigenvalues of A are negative both the eigenvalues are real and distinct and they are negative therefore this point must be the stable point and which is option number 3 it is a correct answer thanks for watching for more videos like share subscribe press the bell icon of next gen mass